everyone. Welcome back. Thank you for joining me as we're about to do a live reaction. I know it's been a while since I've done one of those. As you can tell from my background, I did end up finished moving apartments. I'm in my new area. I love it. It's great. And I'm looking forward to making more videos with it, especially once Dawn Trail officially comes out. I will be doing a live reaction uh, through the main scenario quest. But last night, we did have the latest letter from the producer, which talked a bit more about Dawn Trail. I wasn't able to watch it, unfortunately. One of my friends did, though, and said that it mostly talked about, you know, the graphic updates and everything. Uh, but they did mention that there is going to be a benchmark that I'm going to enjoy. So this is going to be the live reaction to that. I haven't seen it yet, just like pretty much with anything else here. I haven't watched it yet, so I want you all to enjoy my excitement as we head closer and closer to Dawn Trail. I think it's about two and a half months away from now, at least from early release. So let's go ahead and just dive straight on into it. So yes, this is the Final Fantasy XIV Dawn Trail benchmark trailer. Uh, we always get one of these. It just shows us a little bit more of what we can be expecting from the game itself. So, okay, let's go ahead and just dive straight on into it. So this is going to be like our first look of what it's going to be a like walking around and exploring everything. Okay, Creative Business Unit 3. <laughs> What's that? Okay, so are we manning the ship or something? That would be cool. I would love a ship of our own, but what was that on board? It, it looked like a chocobo, I think. I'm not sure. Okay, so we're sailing off towards the new world. Oh, I'm dying for some lore on this place here. I really want to know more about it. We don't know anything really about it so oh a map it's like the one i think red had the compass oh yeah so that had to have been the chocobo so we got our compass i'm guessing it's an ether compass so is map like opening maps and like looking at them going to be like part of the game here i'm guessing so Definitely seems a lot more laid back. Nice area. <laughs> That's new. I don't think we've actually ever seen something like that here. Ooh. Something's running away. Like, something's causing trouble. And we're heading straight towards it. I don't know why. I was just really impressed with that, like, drinking from, like, that water pouch. And, oh, well, this is a nice area. And so I'm guessing this is, like, going to be a place where we fight fate. And, oh, they're showing off abilities. Okay, so. It's kind of hard to tell, but it does look like we are seeing some of the new abilities for the jobs. It looks like Mamujar coming in. I forgot that we could fly for a moment. <laughs> oh, I forgot all about that. That's cool, though. I think that was the red mage. Ooh, samurai. Oh, I'm guessing that's machinist. That looks awesome. Astrologian. Is that ninja? What the heck happened with ninja and the frog? Okay, and of course, we have the viper. Oh, that thing is just so ugly. I'm guessing it's a void sense. It kind of looks like a void sense, at least to me. Okay, we got crafters and gatherers. I like some of the new outfit designs. Whoa. What was that? Huh. So, I'm not entirely sure what's going on yet. Oh, cryo. So, what do we have here? Stone tablet. I'm guessing that's a Mamuja, but I don't think it is. Like, where are we? I have no idea where we are. How 
Okay, so heading off with adventures. Oh, the llamas! We got like a river of llamas. Okay. We got some unique mounts. Wukla Metz, that's her name. I, it took me a minute to remember her name. Like she's coming with us with Cryo, it looks like. And what is this? I'm guessing it's some kind of a dungeon. Like, was it in the sky or something? That's cool though. We're like, well, I think we're just really high up. Oh. Oh, okay. So I'm guessing we're going to be fighting him at some point in the game. I mean, I kind of, I can kind of assume that because we saw it in the trailer. All right. So these are some awesome abilities. Oh. There we go. I have no idea what's going on here. <laughs> Like, this is the second time we've seen the Warrior of Light have to fight him. Well, that was a pretty show-offy move. <laughs> oh, it's over? Oh, that's a shame. Oh, oh, in the background. Okay, I get it now. Okay. Okay, so that background there where we saw, like, that temple... I think that's pretty much where uh, that battle is taking place. That's at least what I'm assuming. And that, that was really nice. I, I do really do enjoy, like, it, it was so much more relaxed. And we're not, like, in a race to have to save the world for once. That is a nice change. Uh, and I don't know. Like, it was just the little things there that just kind of impressed me the most. Like... You see the warrior of light, like holding up a map, like examining the map. He had a compass in his hand. Uh, I love the fact that they brought the chocobo. <laughs> I just love that they added the company chocobo. I think my friend mentioned, like uh, the friend who ended up watching uh, the live reaction uh, said that he saw like the most popular mount was actually um, the company chocobo. <laughs> so I, I don't know if it's just because it's the first mount that we get and we're unlocking the game or maybe it has something to do with I, I'm I'm betting that it has something to do with like Seto like from Shadowbringers like uh, Seto was talking about like you know Albert is my friend and it was like oh and I, when I watched that scene it was like I was so touched I, I I ended up using my company chocobo main for a long time after that just because I was so touched by it uh but yeah apart from that like uh I'm so excited like I can't really talk normally right now but when they were taking a sip of water from the water pouch like that was such it's such a simple emote here, but I don't know. I was just really impressed with that. And we got to look at some of the really awesome new effects, like the new job abilities that are going to be coming in. I know that they are going to be doing some overhauling on some of the jobs. I think Astrologian is especially going to end up becoming, like, it's getting some major reworks in. At least that's what I heard. Uh, wow. Wow. So, yeah, we got two and a half more months. I'm sure that we are going to be continuing to get more information, maybe some more live reactions as we get closer and closer. But I hope you all enjoyed my live reaction, that you are also looking forward to Dawn Trail. But I guess that's it for now. So thank you for joining me, and I'll talk to you all again soon.